Back, say, uh, 20 or 25 years ago, tourists were visiting Ellison, and everybody was peeping into the cellars. People really didn't know what they were. People come asking those questions, do people live in them? What are they? Do they have electricity? So the fact that they were intriguing to visitors meant there must be something intriguing to us. But we grew up with the cellars. It was almost like the grass. It was almost like the, the cliffs and the ocean. We, we sort of took the cellars for granted. Root cellars were used to store, as the word employs, root crops. And uh, in Hilliston, the basic crops that were stored in those cellars were potatoes, turnip, carrot, some onions, and in fact, most people stored their cabbage. Uh, we call Hilliston root cellar capital world because, you know, not only do we have the most root cellars of any community in the world with 135, but really, we've used those cellars to tell the subsistence story of early Newfoundland and Labradorians. If you're going to subsist area in Elsa during the winter months, and you go back to the early settlers, they came with very few supplies. You know, the crops that they grew were basically potato, turnip, carrot. Without the cellars, of course, you know, people would have never, ever survive. There are many root cellars in this community that are still in use today, and there's not only the the older generations are using their cellars as they did for years, but now we have a new generation using their cellars, and this is very positive for the community. We're, we're basically going back to our roots.